Right, so let's go speak to Arangar and get these temporary peace talks set in motion. Aldrin? We heard the dragon ran shout from here. You defeated him? Mm, not exactly. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. Need your help. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. Uh, I'll worry about capturing a dragon. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political. Effect. You kind of don't have much choice. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Yep. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Uh, are you ready to host? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Right. When? So, let's just double check. I think we now just drop this letter to both General Tullius and yeah and Ulfric so we basically go speak to them they will come here it's quite like if you haven't done the Civil War campaign it's it's quite worth it uh, I... oh yeah I need to go outside it's quite worth to wait do the main story because you get a sort of interesting part of the main main story because if you do the Civil War then do this you skip this this quite quite awesome part of the quest Arrived at Solitude. It's been a while since I've been here. There's quite a lot of quests. Oh god, there's quite a lot of quests here. But, you know, I want to do this main storyline before I do any of it. Oh god, there's a lot of people in here, isn't there? General Talius. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? I'm not just any person. Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Uh, I believe we've already met. Have we? Oh, oh, of course. Yeah. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hope Hadvar escape. Hadvar's alive. Yeah, he is. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't take it. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Lady Fricka? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. But that's not what we want. Yep, yeah, I just have, have a message from you. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? They're uh, convening a peace council. Oh, I forgot. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Uh, we need a truce until the dragon menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. Then just agree. My job is to quell this rebellion. And I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Well, the dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Best point to the gate, yeah? Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I'd requested. Uh, why wouldn't the Empress send more reinforcements? Most of the Legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Dalmor resumes. Uh, you'll come to Peace Council? Yes. Yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. So I would be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts At least uh, General Tullius has come. Now we've got to go over to um, Ulfric and see what he says. Here we go. We have arrived at Windhelm. We're about to go and see Ulfric. 
the Palace of Kings. I thought I'd already been to this place, but apparently not. There he is. There is the man, Ulfric Stormcloak. I remember you were in Helgen with us. Yes. Come to join the war. Speak with Garmar. Uh, no. He handles the new recruits. <laughs> I have not. That's not why I'm here. I'm sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Garmar. What does bring you to? I think I'm right. Isn't he more respectful it's about, about it? time they turned their gaze from the heavens or maybe not. back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? Well, they want to negotiate a truce to the dragon menace to start with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeard. Okay. Dwarves, and the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Well, you're in luck. John Tullius has already agreed. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire can throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. I don't know. Uh, so you'll come. Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Right, so there we go. We've got both of them are attending the council. This is going to be fun. It's quite an interesting dialogue. This is why like, I highly recommend like doing this part before you actually do the um the Civil War campaign. So, you've done it. Men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. And I should not have agreed to host this council. We haven't really got much choice. Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll get into to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. Yeah. They're not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season, Season unending. unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Let's just get this done. Here we are. So we can Take capture this dragon. At the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. It's I bet it's, it's an interesting place to be because there is just like daggers across the place. Am I going the right way? Yeah, here we are. I love it how like <laughs> the Thalmor are here too. Okay. So how many like? Okay, so there's two from there. Queen. Yo, Elsif the Fair. Cool, right. I'm going to sit at the top of the table. Everyone take a seat. Anyone else going to take a seat? Yo, these are worth value of one. Is anyone else going to take a seat? Oh, the blades are here too. Oh, Esbern is here, and the Thalmor are looking for him. Everyone is here. Please take your seats so we can begin. Look at the, the stare between them two. In the you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos Hunter. That didn't take long. It's not long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Let's just sit down. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. Yes, let me speak. My ears, ears and beard. The nerve of those Just sit battles. down. Think that I would sit down at the same table with that Thalmor bitch. Either she walks or I do. You're right, the Thalmor. What's the harm besides Tullius doesn't really want her here either? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. get her out. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. 
would not think of interfering in your civil <laughs> war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Can you just sit down now? Your imperial friends here. Lydia, like, there is a seat. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Can you? Oh my god. We represent That's it, Lydia, you stand in the way. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, like, in a way, they could literally end this, end this right now. I have something to say. <laughs> Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about, unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. We're here to arrange a temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here. To deal with the dragon, nothing more. Is that door just open? I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? <laughs> yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullian, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Ooh. Oh, yeah, we got a... Let's mm. get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Ellison. General, oh, this is Ellison. outrageous. Mm. Are you taking this demand seriously? Are they only going to ask for something in return? A truce. Ellison, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what would the out of character. Want in return? Okay. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. Mm. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. Mm. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. How about R Winterhold's? Oh, oh, Winterhold or Riften? Riften. It's got good flood money though, doesn't it? Hmm. The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil. And Especially with the thieves guild down there, you know, oh, a lot of cash. The Dragonborn has spoken, Dullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. Yo, all I've said I is that like... Now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. I thought, like, but, you but you're getting rifted. You'll sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headsman's axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Mm -hmm. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pitiless agreement? Esben, does it speak up? Here you sit arguing about nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. Mm. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons mean? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Yeah. Don't look at me. <laughs> I don't know about the end of the world, 
But this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Jaws bone. Where will these demands end? Well, come on. Let's hear it. Let him speak. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned him mm -hmm. for lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation. This is our homeland, Tonius. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn. Oh, great. I, I, I have to make... Who's to say what happened? All three... uh, I mean, I don't really know what happened. Who's to say what happened at Kass? Yeah, okay. Well, we'll go with that. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. Yeah. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Okay. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Rift. That she does. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. Well, what compensation is it, though? They're gonna... Do you both <laughs> agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements. As long as the Imperials okay. hold to them. I feel like the Imperials got more out of this. you, Halissa? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up. I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. Mm. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the dragon menace is dealt with. <laughs> After that, Ulfric, there will be a rest. It just gives both sides, like, a chance to Come recuperate. Um, a lot of work to do. Giving up or is there a better word? A heavy price for this but that way that they can, they can prepare. They've got time to prepare for like a massive attack. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yep. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But Let's do the it then. Difficulty remains how to lure a dragon. Isn't there a shout though? Isn't there? I'm afraid well, there's a problem. A serious one. You I've discovered that. who the <laughs> Greybeard's leader really is. Yeah, I know. All well and good, but did you know that he was Aldrin's chief lieutenant? I do, actually, funnily enough. Responsible for terrible atrocities. It is true that his crimes are long in the past, but justice does not count the passage of years. The Blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperor. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a Blade prevents me from Wow. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has laid down. How does that help? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Uh, why would you come? Why would he come? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse oh, a yes. challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over all. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. 
So what's the dragon's ah, name? I'm no master watch like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in this old uh, Okay. So we got this new word of power. Have we got it straight away? What do we need to call dragon? I believe we now go to Whiterun. Yeah, prepare the trap. Capture the dragon. And then have a little chat. But yeah, that, that's really interesting to sort of like sit there and listen to these negotiations. But again, if you do the Civil War, you do not get this. You, you skip it straight away. Because the war is won. The, regardless of who you choose, the outcome will be the same. You know, you'll go to Whiterun and they will just help you straight away because there is no Civil War no more. So it's quite it is quite quite an interesting thing to just wait to do the civil war, do this quest, because there is a, a different sort of scenario in play. But let's head to Whiterun and get this trap ready. <laughs> 